Good afternoon everyone, my name is Lewis. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all in good health. Now, first of all, um, let's address the elephant in the room. Um, sorry for not uploading recently. Um, just one of those things where life had run away from me. Um, just had duties and obligations which needed to be attended to. So, yeah, nothing sinister going on. I just simply just didn't have time to upload videos. But hopefully from this point on, onwards, at least for the foreseeable future, I'll be able to upload videos on a more regular basis. So, thank you for persevering. And we'll kick off today with, as per usual, three albums that I've been listening to recently. I'm going to talk about each album in turn, why I would recommend them, and hopefully once you've had a listen you can make up your own mind and see whether or not it will fit in your collection so first of all is a 1975 release uh, by a band called Cozy and Nats and the album is entitled Jazz Afro Occitan sorry about the glare some things don't change um, I do like that rich red cover. I like the image. Um, it looks kind of like ancient Assyrian type thing. Um, I don't know if that's the case, um, but it certainly does look good. Um, right, this is a premium Euro jazz fusion album, um, which is infused with uh, Middle Eastern uh, underpinnings. It's, it's an absolutely delightful album, this particular one. Um, I should point out the name of the album, Cozy Anance. Hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. You know I've a habit of butchering things. Now, um, just for educational purposes, and if anybody does ask you about the, the name of the band and what that's all about, um, yeah, here's a brief explanation. Uh, cozy and that's uh, roughly means how are you in the romance language spoken in southern France and hence what uh, Occitan means as well so yeah that's one for to find in your memories and to show off at your choosing at some point in the future um, I not only like this album I absolutely adore it um, I was hesitant in actually presenting it to you because I like it so much and the selfish side of me kind of was thinking no no don't tell anybody about it if you know about it already then fine um, yeah you're just one of the secret club um, but anyone who doesn't know the uninitiated um, then don't say anything um, you just want to keep it for yourself and enjoy it um, you're probably not in the best attitude um, so hence why it's in front of you now and hopefully um, my brief description of what I felt about this album would at least uh, stimulate you to have a listen to it see what you think and see whether or not it fits in your collection um, just uh, on a similar vein to this album um, I think it was the last episode if not the one before there was an album by a band called Mora Vagini um, a self-titled album and they were really heavy into their accordion playing um, and they did it in a super cool way um, this is along similar lines if not slightly better in its execution of a jazz or stroke funky accordion sound it's got a really good one on here um, yeah it's uh yeah i just i can't wait for you to have a listen to this album um and see what you think i just think it's a really really charming and exciting piece um i don't have a lot of material in my collection which is similar to this but i do have a few pieces and this is fitted in magnificently the tracks that I would recommend from this album are Hortus, uh, Bori de Cour, and Aiden uh, Arab, Arabi. Um, so it's all kind of like in French, and you know 
my lack of talent for languages so I've probably butchered that but hopefully you've got the gist of what those recommendations are and you will find them and have a listen to yourself and see if it actually fits into your taste um, notables on this particular album are Michel Lamar who's the band's trumpet, bugle, tuba and accordion player so pretty much this is his venture but the guy is super talented and a gentleman called Rene Nan on percussion uh, between the two of them I think there's five or six members but those two certainly are the prominent members of the band and they do an excellent job on this particular album I thoroughly enjoyed this um, yeah it's off the beaten track it, it's not the usual affair but that's pretty much why I like it so um, you should be able to find it on streaming sites have a listen to those three tracks see if it fits into your taste and if it does you certainly will be able to find it if you so choose okay so that's today's first album the second album today is a 1975 release uh, by a gentleman called Noel McGee and it's an album called Space sorry and Space Spies that's a nice album cover once again so I think that's going to be the theme today hopefully very nice covers um, yeah so that's Mr McGee on the actual cover there he looks like a friend of mine to be quite honest I'm not going to say his name but he does look like him like super, and he's a cool dude as well um, there is some serious drumming on display here now I'm not saying it's virtuoso performance but really good drumming and um, the reason why I'm really highlighting that is it's not necessarily like I said the style of drumming it's the power behind the drumsticks which I truly appreciate this guy when he hits a drum it stays hit so you can feel the power resonating from it so yeah it's just a nice thing you know a nice piece of music to be listening to um, I'm going to confess at the outset that um, it's not the most consistent work um, it perhaps should be better than what it actually is um, and that's quite disappointing but when they do get it right and there's a track on here called, called Trapeze um, that's the example for me where they've got it right and they really hammer home how good they are as a what is it a four or five piece band yeah um, unfortunately some of the other tracks um, they're a bit meandering they're, they're they they can achieve a certain standard and it's a pity that not more of the tracks have hit the same level as trapeze so that's quite a disappointment but overall as you can see it's in my hands so i obviously like it but um yeah it's uh have a listen for yourself and see what you think about it um but i did have genuine fun with this particular album the tracks that I would highlight are Trapeze, Dancer, and For Foregone Disillusion. Those are the three tracks that I would take off this album um, to have a listen to. Uh, notables on this album, um, the one in particular is George Edouard Newell on piano. Now, really early into the channel, probably... Uh, uh, episode four or five um, I highlighted or presented to you um, Mr. Newell's uh, solo album one of his solo albums a really lovely affair and again why I say this album is a bit of a piece because he doesn't demonstrate how good he is on this particular album as he did on his own one so there's a compositional problem on this particular album in terms of it doesn't allow for whatever reason the musicians to flourish as well as they could do but it's an overall affair um, nothing offensive here nothing too troubling um, a bit middle of the road but um, it's in my hands so obviously um, at least one track I really 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 like so have a listen for yourselves on one of the streaming sites see what you think um, yeah if you if you agree with me let me know in the comments um, yeah 
So, that's the second album today. The third and final um, album for today is just one of my favourites in my collection. It's a 1972 release by a gentleman called Rufus Harley and it's called The Recreation of the Gods. What a great cover. That's absolute genius there. Loving that. Now, um, Mr. Harley is one of my musical or music heroes and for, for the following reason if you've never heard of him before um, he does have a, a unique position or almost unique position in the jazz pantheon as um, one of the advocators or practitioners of the jazz bagpipe yes I said that yeah jazz bagpipe now um, he's obviously got a talent for music and he could have chosen the saxophone the trumpet the clarinet he could have done any one of those things but no he wanted to stand out from the crowd and attempt to bring uh the the instrument that is the bagpipe into the jazz world and this album is a really good example of what you can do when you've got commitment and you have talent um yeah, it's going to be a divisive album, this one, because yeah, you may not like the sound of the, the bagpipe, no matter which way somebody spins it, you may not like it. Um, but I certainly did. It was a really enjoyable journey. Um, I found it to be an uplifting and fun piece, and I am super glad that I own it. Um, it it's mainly because it's different from everything else that I've got in my collection. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to buy too many more examples of the, the jazz bagpipe but, but um, on this occasion it certainly did fit the bill so I'm super happy to have it the tracks that I would recommend from this album would be uh, Nobody Knows the Trouble I've, We've Seen uh, A Little Light of Mine and Etymology the notables on this album would be uh, Bill Mason on organ and Larry Langston on drums who do a superb job in helping Mr. Harley to achieve um, a unique piece of jazz yeah so as I said um, this is going to be divisive some people will love it some people will hate it um, if you so choose uh, please let me know which side of the fence you sit on in the comments section um, it'd be good to hear your feedback and that is the last album for today so uh thank you very much for joining me again for one of my musical mystery tours for want of a better expression it's been an absolute pleasure uh do uploading a, a new video for you guys um i hope you enjoyed it um uh, please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment below um, if you've got any feedback for me or any advice any suggestions as to what albums i should be looking out for it's been an absolute pleasure look after yourselves and i will see you for the next video take care of yourselves bye bye